So um, back when I was in college, I was visiting a buddy of mine in Boston. He goes to BC, and uh, I just brought with me just one backpack and like four or five things, like rain shell, wool base layer, um, Patagonia R1 hoodie, and a Patagonia down sweater. And the entire time I was there, I wished I had the hooded version of this down sweater. And um, luckily, I sold it, and I uh, was able to come across the hooded version, which also packs into its own stretch mesh pocket. It's really wonderful. Um, it just unpacks incredibly easily. And it's one of the warmest garments I've ever worn for its weight. Um, this past year at Sundance, every single night up there, I think I just wore a t-shirt in this, maybe, maybe a wool base layer. And it was good down to honestly, you know, the low twenties. If it got below that, I would suggest adding a mid layer. But um, really great, super lightweight, eight hundred fill down like the non hooded version. Um, weighs fourteen ounces, I think, for the large. Same zippered hand pockets you got going on right here. You can see these pockets. Hood is pretty money. Uh, fit is a little boxy. I mean. I don't know what it is with these Patagonia down sweaters. It's not as svelte as the uh, Marlon Amade de Blanc, but still really great. A little bit better for layering. Love the collar on this thing and the hood. I'll go in with that. Adjusts similarly uh, as to the Houdini, so it actually adjusts the brim and the back as well, so it just really gives you great coverage. It adds, I think, at least 10 degrees of warmth. Um, it retails for like 250 so you get a chance to get it. It's... Uh, Definitely worth it. You can get it right here on BatCountry.com.